Now, these car launches aren't all about thrapping the metal. You have to do some fairly boring stuff like come to press conferences. There you go, 911 Carrera S, there's a picture of it. Come and have a look at some of the bits and bobs they've picked out for us to look at. First of all, these are the three standard wheels. 18-inch wheel with a normal tyre. That's a 19-inch wheel with a normal tyre, so it's a Pilot Sport in both cases. And this is the 19-inch wheel with the Pilot Sport cup tyre, which is the sticky cup tyre they fit to the GT3. What do you think of the other wheel design? I'm sort of not entirely convinced. Let's move over to the steering wheel for PDK. This is the point of controversy, but it's easier to do it here than it is in the car. Two paddles, but whereas you go up and down in a Ferrari, each of these does the gear shift to either side. So it's actually like a WRC car. So you go push up to go up a gear, come back to come down a gear. Now this looks horribly geeky standing next to one side of the rear axle of a Carrera. What I want to draw your attention to is under here. So you've got your bush up here. That's your, your bump stop there on the, top of the, on the top of the damper. What I find quite interesting is up here by the top mat, you've got all this foam and gubbins under here. So you've actually got a lot of support above the spring. I presume that's... That might be new. Other than that, roll bar, I mean, I can't tell you whether that's different than the last one or not. Nicely made though, lots of aluminium. Now here's one aspect of these things that I love and why actually doing this job is a complete privilege. There are many reasons, but I love this from a geek's perspective. This is a cutaway of the new PD case, which shows the two clutches. It shows how they've separated the, the oil supply for the, the clutches, the wet clutches, and also for all the gear sets, the lubrication and it shows you how you can pre-select the gear and how you work basically two lines of manual gearboxes. But, now that's a privilege in itself. Look at this. This is the original PDK box from the racing uh, 962 from the 80s. I mean, it is just massive. Look how dainty that thing is compared to this. But how advanced must this have been to have been pre-selecting gears in Group C racing in the mid-80s? I mean, most people were still grappling with turbocharging, weren't they? But Porsche already had the system in place. It makes you ask the question, why didn't they bring it about earlier? Why haven't we seen PDK with Porsche before? I suppose we could just be thankful we've got it now. But this is dropped off the bottom of the gearbox. This is basically the control unit. So you've got all of the solenoids here that will be connected to the ECU. Just how complicated this thing is. I mean, the number of little moving parts and oil channels. It is a, a work of art. I'd quite like a PDK gearbox in the living room. I know that sounds really sad, but it's a beautiful thing. It put together with considerable love. Right, lap times for the new Carrera around the ring. Carrera S, 802, that's the last one. 758 for the new one, but with all this on board. So that's with the PDK transmission, the PASM set to sport, and with the cup tyres, 750. That is quicker than the first time for the last generation GT3. So she's quite a quick old girl. Right, very quickly, um, for the UK market there have been concerns in the past over real Mayon oil seal failure and uh, a lot of chat on internet forums. I'm here with Thomas Wasserbeck who's in charge of basic engine development on the Carrera programme. Um, Thomas, tell me, I mean, you've gone through in depth and detail how impressive the new oil system is on the car and we've seen this process you've put it through. It does look incredible what you've achieved, but you've also said to me earlier that you have improved this main seal considerably. Um, can you just quickly say how, how you've improved it and, and whether you think there'll be any problems ongoing? Mm -hmm. So we, we optimized massive the structure of the crankcase. So it is more... Um, it's stronger. St stronger, yeah. it's, it's stiffer. Yes. Yeah. Is it right stiff? Yes, definitely. And uh, we also um, improved the quality of the... Um, the seal. The seal. Okay. The ring. So no, no more drips on the floor in the garage? No, no more? We are very... Um, confident? Yes. Yes. Confident to, that we eliminate, it, or we eliminate now this problem. So as we say in English, job done? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Cheers.